Hello friends, this is Cold Run. Welcome back to Mass Effect 2. We are here on the Normandy, having just got the assassin on our side. He seems like a empathetic, spiritual, beautiful fish boy. Different from this emp- well, this is more of a lizard boy. Uh, first, let me get some upgrades, because I got some upgrades. Submachine gun damage. Uh, plus 30% submachine guns. Excellent. And SMG extra rounds. 50% submachine gun rounds. Didn't I get this last time? Did I not save or something? I thought I got this last time. Maybe I didn't. Uh, I guess that's it. What do I need for these? I need one more assault rifle damage and heavy pistol damage. Okay. Let's go find Fish Boy. Thane Krios. Wait, where's Kelly? Oh, do you have anything to say about Thane? I'm surprised by Thane's spiritual side. His psych profile mentioned little of it. And he carries himself with such cold confidence. I'm not sure if I find him scary or sexy. Yeah, maybe both. A lot of women like bad boys. A lot of women like you? Um, yeah, on occasion. I live a dangerous life. Dangerous men fit right in. I like you more and more each day, Shepard. Anyway. <laughs> How may I help you, Commander? That was all. Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your oh. private terminal. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. So you said. Uh, well, upgrades did not mean to do that. Unread messages. Guardian Angels from Oriana Lawson. I hope this is the right, Commander Shepard. I'm Oriana. My sister only told me a little. This is Miranda's sister. But I don't think it occurred to her that I'm as smart as she is. I, poked, it, I don't think it occurs to her that anyone is as smart as she is. I think she is a crafty person and finds herself in high regard and is usually correct. But there's some blind spots with that. I poked around a little and found an information broker who got me this address. I got to thank her, but I never got to thank you for helping me. My parents don't really understand it, but I know how much Miranda did. How many little things over the years were her looking out for me. I'm not going to tell them. I still want to go to school and get some degrees, but... Wait, how does that follow? I'm not going to tell them I still want to go to school and get some degrees. It feels like I'm not going to tell them because I still want to go to get school and get some degrees, but maybe it's a non sequitur. But I wanted to you to know that I know you saved me. I had a guardian angel all these years. I don't know if my sister has anybody. She said that she's working for you, and it was pretty clear that you were doing something dangerous. Make sure she comes back alive, okay? Okay. That's incredibly sweet. P.S. Uh, don't tell her I sent you this message. I sent you this. It would just make her angry. P.P.S. Miranda, quit looking at Shepard's messages. Don't act like you don't. It's what I do. <laughs> oh, another dangerous alien aboard, Commander. Thanks. Why can't you collect coins or commemorative plates or something? This is more fun. Uh, I think that's all I wanted to check out. I assume everything's going well up here? It was until the thing started questioning my every move. It won't let anything slide. You were deliberately falsifying maintenance reports, Mr. Moreau. <laughs> Not falsifying, tweaking. I always round up on task times. It makes us look good when we come in under. Uh, yeah, it's harmless. Harmless self-promotion. Edie can ease off on that. Very well, Shepard. Yeah, go pow. I win. Joker. <laughs> right, right, no hard feelings. Good game. I mean, I would seriously, like... Now. See you, Commander. I'd be very careful about playfully teasing the AI. I would be... I would be very careful about that. It seems like they get along well. They have kind of an old married couple thing going, but I don't know. I would, I would, that I would not mess with it. Do you need something? Uh, I want to talk about you. Have a few minutes to talk. Certainly. We haven't had a chance since I joined. When we met you, you said you were dying. Yes. I thought you'd want to know more. You were correct. You don't have to worry about the rest of the crew. My illness is not communicable, even to other Drell. It's called Keprel Syndrome. Uh, yeah, can we help? Is there anything we can do here? Normandy has a state-of-the-art medical bay. No, thank you. It's being attended to. If the finest medical minds in the Hanar Illuminated Primacy can't solve the problem, I doubt your ship's medic could. Thank you for your concern. Trust me, this won't affect my performance. 
Will it affect your voice? Because I hope not. Codex. Drill biology. Drill are omnivorous reptile. Oh, so they're not fishy. They're reptile-y. Reptile like I was thinking they were like uh, Abe that he was like modeled on Abe Sapien from uh, Hellboy or the 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 creature from uh, the the movie about the merman sex. What was it called? Spanish movie. Uh, the Shape of Water. Um, but no, it sounds like he's reptilian. So, omnivorous reptile-like humanoids with an average lifespan of 85 galactic standard years. They give live birth to their young, who are capable of eating solid food from the moment they are born. Oh, nice. No formula. Drell appearance is very similar to Asari and humans, but their muscle tissue is slightly denser than that of humans, giving them a wiry strength. Many of their more reptilian features are concealed, like a three-chambered heart with a muscular ridge that's capable of shunting oxygen or deoxygenated blood as needed. I guess that sort of thing maybe gives them more endurance? One unique characteristic, however, is the hy hyoid bone in their throats, which allows them to inflate their throats and produce vocal sounds outside of the human range. Would-be assassins have noted that these two features make Drell extremely hard to strangle or suffocate. Because the Drell ancestors emerged from arid, rocky deserts, the humid, ocean-covered Hanar homeworld of Kaje proved tolerable only when the Drell stayed inside a climate-controlled dome city. Due to this huge disparity in the two species' homeworld environments, the leading cause of death among Drells on Kaje is a bacterial lung disease called Keprel syndrome. So, it sounds like this is a common thing. I was thinking... Since he was saying, like, don't worry, it's not communicable, and it, and you don't have to worry about solving it, I thought it was just going to be like almost like a fake disease, but no, it sounds like this is real and common. Within a generation of the Drell's arrival on the planet, why did they arrive on this planet then? This sounds like the literal worst place they could be. Within a generation of the arrival on the planet, the disease had become resistant to Hanar antibiotics and other advanced treatments. Once an infection settles in, death is slow but imminent. Transplants may buy time, but as the infection spreads to other major organs, there comes a point of diminishing returns and eventual system failure. Are they listed as a race? I mean, as a race we have an entry on? No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, it's alphabetical. I didn't notice that until now. Okay. Um... You know, we haven't done enough. Well, we think we have more to talk about. Do you need something? Have a few minutes to talk? Later. I'd like to consider what we've already discussed. You mind if I ask you a few questions? Not at all. Normandy upgrades? We need to have the best equipment possible to take on the collectors. You have any leads I could chase down? My old contact network often located rare equipment for me. Would you like me to get in touch with them? I forgot about this option. I have to look at the other characters to see if there's, like, a chat option for this sort of thing with them. Yes. Let's see what they've got. Oh, ship enhancements. Okay. Modular probe bay. Normandy gains plus 100% probe capacity and additional probes. I think I can spare the iridium. I only have... Th I'll only have almost 200,000 left, but I think that's okay. Thank you. Was there anything else in that box? Do you need something? You mind if I ask you? Not at all. Drell and Hanar. The Drell live on the Hanar homeworld. Hanar. Don't they? Yes, I know many think the Hanar are difficult to understand. It's just that they're very formal with those they don't know. We know them quite well. If you ever get close enough to a Hanar that they tell you their soul name, you would find them warm. Yeah, that's I surprising. The Hanar only let very close friends know their soul name. Well, that's what he said. Most of my commissions were for Hanar. I grew close to my regular contacts. Soul names tend to be poetic. A Hanar known for its cynicism might take a name that means illuminates the folly of the dancer. <laughs> that's pretty good. They don't speak, do they? They do speak. Hanar talk using bioluminescence. That's more of an obstacle than their politeness. True. Many Drell have had their eyes genetically modified to perceive their higher frequency flashes. That's I awesome. I had the treatment. 
I can't tell the difference between a dark red and black, but I can see ultraviolet light as a silver color. That is amazing. Uh, your religion. When you pray for the wicked, who exactly are you praying to? That depends on the circumstance. To find my target, I speak with Emonkira, Lord of Hunters. When I act to defend another, Arashu, goddess of motherhood and protection. And when I have taken my target, I speak with Kalahira, goddess of oceans and the afterlife. Yes, yeah, so he's polytheistic. Oceans and afterlife don't seem to have much in common. Really? Consider, the ocean is full of life, yet it is not life as you and I know it. Oh. To survive there, we must release our hold on land, accept a new way to live. So it is with the death. The soul must accept its departure from the body. If it can't, it will be lost. That is kind of beautiful. I didn't know that Drell had many gods. It's one of our older beliefs. Many embrace the Hanar and Kindlers now, or the Asari philosophies. The old ways are dying. There are so many ways to interpret one's place in the universe. Who needs the wisdom of our ancestors? The younger generations don't believe they can help us fathom genetic engineering, orbital strikes, or alien races. And that I don't buy. I mean, I buy that they don't believe that, but I, I, I don't think that's a good reason to get rid of old faiths. Um, maybe adapt them or maybe change your interpretation of them, but yeah, I don't think it invalidates them at all. In most... Do you have a Of course. Miranda? Oh, shit. This is... I, I didn't mean to skip that first part. I wanted to apologize. I didn't fully believe you'd be up to the task. And it seems I was wrong. Frankly, based on what I've seen, I wish Cerberus had recruited you earlier. Cerberus is wrong. So do I. I'm going to go with Cerberus is wrong. I'm going to trust her that I still find them shady as fuck. I trust you, but I don't trust Cerberus. Your experiments cross the line. All the time, yes. But I recall a Spectre who crossed a few lines while hunting down Saren and the Geth. And we'd be lucky to have you. Too many join us out of simple xenophobia. We need more people here for the right reasons. It's one of those things, though, where if you have a lot of people joining you for the wrong reasons, I feel like it's, the, it's like those people who, I don't know, who say, like, I know some, some of the people in, who believe what we believe are white supremacists, and they sure like us, but... We want more people with who like us for the right reasons. And it's like, yeah, I see what you're saying, but it should be a warning flag to you if so many people who have the worst reasons actually like and respect you. Uh, anyway, uh, I, yeah, what about Jack? What was Cerberus trying to prove by experimenting on children like Jack? A mistake, no question. Not mine. And one that was corrected once we discovered the extent of the experiments being performed. That's actually true. Yeah, they, they did that behind the back of the Illuminated Man. Illustrated. What was it? Illum I forgot the guy's name. The Illustrated Man. I saw your bases years ago. You were using Elusive Rachni, man. Thorian creepers, even husks to make your own army. The husks were already dead. The Thorian creatures were mindless, and the Rachni were abandoned once we understood their intelligence. We weren't breeding an army. We were breeding expendable shock troops for high-risk scenarios. How many soldiers died in Saren's attack on Eden Prime? How many would have lived if we'd had just a dozen Rachni soldiers on our side? Yeah, I don't buy it. Um, also, I thought the Th I didn't know the Thor. I thought the Thorian was sentient. I didn't think. I think this. I don't think the Thorian could have been. A, I don't. I don't know. I really don't like that. So I still don't trust you. I mean, I trust you, but I. I don't even trust you. I think you're so much a Cerberus person that. I do not trust you and even Jacob all that much. intelligence, you could have landed any job you wanted. Why choose this? Because I still envy the time Morden spent with the special tasks group, working with people as smart as he was. Cerberus never tells me that something is impossible. They give me my resources and say do it. And they've given you even more. A new life, a new ship, the elusive man's personal attention. Yeah, you sound kind of jealous there. Why, you disapprove? No. I'm just impressed. You're... Well, look at you. A kid from the slums of Earth. No family. Little formal education.
Is it jealousy that I've had this I freedom? Could. Despite everything my father did to make me perfect, you're you're the best humanity has to offer. Yeah, you bring that. I mean, it's it's clearly a core part of your identity. You always bring up your genetic tailoring. It really bothers you, doesn't it? This is what I am, Shepard. I can't hide it. The intelligence, the looks, even the biotics. He paid for all of that. Every one of your accomplishments is due to your skill. The only things I can take credit for are my mistakes. That's absolutely not true. I mean, everyone, it's... I don't know, it's... Everyone is born with a certain amount of looks and intelligence and, and all of that. And, I don't know, I... I like, you were born with all of that, too. You're... Like, if you took all of that and... And, and I don't know, I, I really don't, I don't like the, I don't like what she's, I don't buy it, but I don't think we're meant to buy it. I think, I don't think she's, what she's saying is meant to be taken as, like, the truth. I think it's her interpretation of a traumatic upbringing. You're not coasting on good genes, Miranda. Your ability and your dedication speak for themselves. Thank you, Commander. I appreciate that. I should get back to work, but thank you for coming by. Yeah, no problem. And Miranda's... Miranda's intro... I don't... She's not my favorite character, but she is interesting as hell. Shepard? Upgrades. Oh, Grunt has Anything an upgrade. Anything in your tank imprints that can make use of the resources we've found? Nothing else I can think of. I'm no tech. Enjoy what you've got. Oh, never mind. The squad. What do you think about the crew? Good bunch if they stay out of my way. Dead bunch if they don't. <laughs> Train them good if you want to take on collectors. Some of these aliens are too smooth. Too smooth? Like... Is that like saying... Like, uncalloused? Like, like weak? That sort of thing? Or too crafty and he doesn't trust them? I think probably the former. Just checking in. How are you doing? I'm branching out. Got a list of enemies now. They all give me joy when I picture cutting them, crushing them. There's this one imprint, a Solarian with the... What are they? The, the things on his head pulled apart? Bet it caused a generation of revenge. What is that, a few weeks for them? So what did you want? Um... No, I guess you know, Mazel Tov. It sounds like that's that's real progress. That's like character development you know, for your kind. Your kind. connecting with your past would bring stability. It has. <laughs> See, now we're having fun. Me remembering good deaths, and you with your your funny human thing you're doing. <laughs> My job is to hurt things. Direction, control. That's your job, Battlemaster. You're why I'm a soldier. Not dead or crazed like an animal. Thank you, Shepard. You gave me purpose. Now let's find something big to kill. Amen. Shepard. Uh, anything else about mission or collectors? What are your thoughts about our mission? We'll push our enemies to the edge of space, then step on their fingers one at a time until the void takes them. Lovely. It's like, I think I read a Hallmark card with that on it once. Did Okir give you any imprints about the Collectors? You already know more than he did. Okir's is barely useful. If you fight them, hit them hard the first time. Yeah, that's not that's super useful. Shepard. Okay. Sounds like you're doing well. Hey. Hey, Jack. Tell me something I don't know about you. Nothing to tell. Why? I'm curious. I want to know more, and I'm not going away. I'm here to fight for you. Nothing says we have to be friends, but whatever. Something you don't know, huh? Obvious stuff, like what's up with my ink, or something else just as boring. You're not really interested unless it affects you. I've been through all this shit before. What if I really care? I'm gonna try- I'm gonna- I'm gonna friend the shit out of you. I could be genuine. You have no way of knowing. I have eyes, and I have history. You'll back off. As soon as you realize you're not the first, and I'm immune to your help. I'm not the first. 
So you think that I'm trying to like romantically conquer you or like break in and take pride in being the... I guess that's a fair concern for someone that's that aloof. Uh, no close relation. As soon as you realize you're not the... That's just an, that's an interesting way to put it. I don't know if she's talking about sex there. I don't think she is. There hasn't really been flirting between these two, so I, I don't think that's what she's talking about. Yeah, let's just go with what do the tat uh, no close relationships? You work pretty hard at not letting people get close. I've been with lots of people. If you're asking about a boyfriend or a girlfriend, no. It's a waste of time and it never works. You let someone get that close, it just means they need a shorter knife. Lonely and alive works just fine, thanks. Yeah, you said lonely. Seems like you miss it a little more than you want to admit. Pick She's gonna punch me. Apart if you want, but it doesn't change the way the galaxy works. Come on, you've been around. Uh, you must have friends. Tough, but you can't have survived alone all these years. She hasn't, but it doesn't mean she's had friends. When I was starting out, I ran with this girl Manara and her boyfriend. They knew their way around. I thought they'd help me. Right. They helped me into their bed. And when we finally did take down something big, they helped themselves to my share of the take. I knew where it was heading, and I got them first. Never bothered with friends after that. That's a rough start. You knew they would kill you. They sound like selfish pricks. That doesn't mean they were going to kill you. I get feelings. I don't need proof. I did the smart thing. I always do the smart thing if people fuck with me. That's probably something you should remember. Yep, no worries. I will remember it. Uh, what do the tattoos mean? I'll bite. What's with the tattoos? Some are for prisons I've been in. Some are for kills. You know, good ones. Some are for things I've lost. Those aren't your business. They're nobody's business. And some are because, hey, why the fuck not? I think that's a good reason for a tattoo. I am totally supportive of that. I have to go. But we should do this again. Wait. My turn with the questions. People usually walk by now. Why are you really asking all these things? What's your game, Shepard? You fascinate me, which is the truth. I've never met anyone like you. Whatever. It'll come back to what you can take. It always does. Later, Shepard. Oh. I don't think she's the best character, but only because Morden is on the ship. But she's right up there. Hey. Let me check on upgrades, huh? up a lot of resources. Can you use them to help against the collectors? I figured out those L5Xs. Consider yourself lucky. It's not like I keep a library of this shit around. L5Xs. That must have been something she gave before, but I don't remember it. Miranda and Jacob. Maria, Miranda and Jacob. What do you think of Miranda and Jacob? She Jacob doesn't, doesn't like him. Jacob doesn't know who he is, but that's not my problem. Miranda's a Cerberus bitch. Knew that before she opened her mouth. Lovely. The mission. What do you think of our mission? I know when someone's got murder on their mind. The Collectors are out to kill us. Rather do it to them first. That's a fair reason, and I'll take your help with that. Okay. I should go. Okay. Talk later. Thinking about past missions. Got a minute. You might learn something. I'm all ears. Can't say I blame Taylor's pop. A man does what he has to do to Ugh. Ran up against a Batarian camp, not too different from that one. Job was to erase the whole thing from the map. Men, women, and the man in charge. Learned that day that despots are cowards. You show them you're in charge, not them, and they cry like little girls. I knew this girl once, Asari. Good head on her shoulders. I'm trying to like we you. We had this whole thing going until she sold me out to the blood pack. Put a sour note on the relationship. Yeah, that sounds like it could be a deal breaker. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. All right, see you, Zaid. Shepard, how can I help? Are there any medical concerns I should be Cerberus aware of? Cerberus personnel in excellent con Always some matters, but nothing affecting immediate mission. Have you got a minute to talk? Actually, wanted to talk. Medical matters. Oh, okay. Aware that mission is dangerous. Different species react differently to stress. Aware you come by a great deal. Have had other species become attracted to me before. Awkward. Not interested. Oh. 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 
Oh, okay. Uh, you get hit on, that sounds rude. Thanks anyway. I appreciate you letting me down easy. No offense intended. Salarian reproduction different, very little sex drive. If intended to try human, would try you. Glad you stopped by. Clear the air. <laughs> Morden, I appreciate you letting me down easy. That must have been... Oh my god. <laughs> well, he did say if he was going for a human, he would try me. So that's, that's nice. Squad? Any squad updates I should do? What's next here? Oh yeah, Tech Mastery. We can do Tech Mastery now. Uh, Demolisher. Specializing in combat operations. You reduce recharge time on all powers and receive a bonus to their damage. Your Paragon and Renegade scores receive their final bonus. Plus 70%. Or Paragon Renegade plus 100%. So Mechanic gives... Mechanic gives power duration. Demolisher gives power damage. Mechanic gives more Paragon and Renegade boost. And more health. Let's go with Mechanic. Uh, your powers are incredibly efficient. They recharge faster and last longer. If they last longer than four hours, call Dr. Chakwas. Uh, your Paragon and Renegade scores receive their final bonus. Let's do it. Oh, wait. Wow. Look at that. Did you see that boost? Where's my squad? Yeah, I went into the final the final box. Where, so may, I assume that if I get to the f end of that final box, then I'll be, like, I'll have all the options open to me. I'll be able to finally convince, um, I'll be able to finally convince Morden to go to bed with me. Journal. So what are we doing next? Wait, new Ilium, the assassin. The Solarian family data. An OSD containing data relating, related to the Solarian Carosa family has been found. It looks like something lost in the chaos of Nasana's attack. Okay, I know where to go for this. Let's do this. All right, Thane has 23 points. So let's do first Drill Assassin, just straight up increase health and weapon damage. Thane's expertise in assassination and prolonging his life improves his effective health and weapon damage. Sounds good. Evolve Drill Assassin. Marksman. Thane's anatomical expertise and unerring aim increases weapon damage. Increases his weapon... I think it's increased because it's both his anatomical expertise and unerring aim, right? So it's increase his weapon damage beyond its already extraordinary levels. So health and weapon damage or more health, less weapon damage for veteran. Thane's experience surviving life-threatening wounds increases his effective health. This is easy for marksman for me. So throw will buff up to two. Shredder ammo. Let's just buff the other stuff up first. I'm fine with that. So warp will do one there. Max out throw. Fling a single for enemy with unparalleled momentum, smashing it into walls with hurricane force. Heavy throw. Um, where your mastery of biotic throws allows you to hurl multiple targets into the air simultaneously. Let's go with heavy throw. I like the idea of a sniper as just a, a takes out one target really heavily. So we'll do that. And then, yeah, one more for warp. That's an appropriate end for Conrad Werner. I feel like if I had used the Paragon option when I talked to him, I could have saved his life, but I'm strangely okay with that way of passing. He died as he lived, trying his best and failing. Cirrus technology, anything I want to get here, increased bionic damage, doubles the limit time limit for bypass that I don't care about. Tech damage, wait, wait, wait. Yes. Plus 50% tech power damage, multi-core amplifier. Do it. That's a good use of 75,000. For the rest, do I want to spend anything? 
I don't think so. I assume I can only use one of these, or can I use all of these? Let me try buying, like, the t Kestrel Torso Sheath. Uh, Kestrel Armor System Spinal Mount Processor synchronizes artificial torso muscle fibers with limb movements, allowing power to be generated by the legs channeled through the core and projected out through the arms. Stabilization of the firing platform assists in auto-targeting and waste-mounted capacitors add to the power of kinetic barriers. That sounds intensely good. Melee damage by 10%, don't care. 5% weapon, 3% shield strength. Shields by 8%. A lot of these are very melee damage focused, but maybe they all, every, all of these have melee upgrades. Yeah, let's get that and let's try the helmet too. Headshot damage and weapon damage, yeah. Okay. All right. Let's do it. Listen, I know the data is vital to the Corosa family. The Sana Dantius didn't give us time to pack. I'm lucky I got out at all, for mercenaries were starting to shoot. If she lets us back in, I'll get it, I promise. If not, well, we'll just have to hope. So this is our guy. Also, did you hear that, um... Have we met any Solarian women? I don't know if we have. Also, did you hear that recruitment that was like the Blue Suns recruitment, but it was like one of the U.S. Army recruitment ads? It was uh, all, um, like, when you join the Blue Suns, you're not just training for military, you're training for life. It was oh, it's so good. The ads are so good in this game. What is it? I'm in the middle of an important call. I found your data. I overheard you talking. Is this the data you're looking for? The Corosa Generational Archive. You found it. Thank you. My whole family has been worried. That data is irreplaceable. I didn't think I'd get it back from Nasana's corporate building. I love the Solarian smiles. They look so sweet and genuine and awkward. Why is this data so important anyway? It's a genetic history for the entire Corosa family. It's used for high-level reproductive negotiations. It would be like a human pedigree, I suppose. Without it, you're bargaining from a greatly weakened position. Losing this would have hurt my family for generations, maybe even destroyed it. It's, I, the Solarian, it's so weird to me, the Solarians are like pandas with the low sex drive and all, it's, it's so weird to me that this is like a, a defining feature of their race and it almost makes them, it feels like it's turned them into eugenicists to some degree. It, it feels that way with the way they describe that they're matching pedigrees and all that. Uh, why were there no backups? If this data is so important, why didn't you have backups? We did. A rival family introduced a computer virus and our techs were sloppy. The virus destroyed all our data. I just spent a fortune getting the data recovered and reconstructed when Nasana went crazy. We live in a world of infinite data redundancy. To lose something so important because of one crazy Asari? Uh, well, glad it could help, I guess. Here's your data. I hope it helps your family. You have no idea, human. I, I don't know who you are or how you got it, but thank you. Here, for your trouble. Blessings be upon you. You've certainly blessed us. And upon you. So what are we going to do next? What's Overlord again? Ah, that one. The elusive man is the least of my concerns. I have to wrap up for now just due to... Due to time. I'm thinking, like, I don't know. Uh, is there... I really searched all over for the Citadel found forged ID one. Let me know, let me know if you have any suggestions on what to do for that, or if I should just wait. Um... Other than that, I think I'm going to do the next dossier. Uh, let me know if you prefer to be just a car or tally. I'm happy with either of them. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye-bye.